variable. Where did it go? Right there. So now we're basically entering a new, um, what's it called? Not a row, a new record in our table. And that record is just going to store the temporary information for this user. Now remember this, when they have clicked that link on their email and verified that that is a valid email and they aren't a bot or aren't trying to spam our page, we're going to take this information and plop it over to this main users table. But right now we're just going to store it in temp users because this is pretty much the people we don't trust yet. So again, what we did is we store their information in a temporary table. Now what we need to do is construct that email that we're going to send to them. So the first thing I even want to do before I construct that email is I just want to add a simple if statement and I want to make sure that this query ran successfully. Now whenever you set a variable equal to a MySQL query, it runs this query and it returns true or false. It returns true if the query ran successfully, it returns false if there is like an error or you spelled something wrong. So let's go ahead and ensure that this is not false because if it is false, then we just want to go ahead and give them an error message like have our script die we don't want to die but we want our script to and it could say like could not insert into database and then we'll go ahead and write that my my sql underscore error so that way we know if and the reason i like to do this is because say there was I don't know, maybe we type temp users wrong. Well, if we're running our code and testing it and the information isn't going into the database, then we're gonna make, whoa, is there a bug in the database? Is there a bug in my PHP code? Are my files not uploaded? This way we can clearly see what's going on. And I actually don't want that uh, semicolon right there. But that's why I uh, throw a lot more error messages than the normal programmer just for debugging purposes. Else. Now, mind you, this is going to return true if the query ran successfully and false if it ran unsuccessfully. So if it did run successfully and that information was inserted into the temporary table, then what do we need to do? Well, what we need to do is we need to construct that email. So let's go ahead and store the body of the email inside a variable called message. And the first thing I want to write is just add a uh, double quotes to activate your probably should spell this right since it's going to be sent to millions and billions of people when this website gets popular to activate your account please click on this link and you actually need to add new line new line whenever you're writing an email it doesn't interpret the HTML so uh, that's why you need new lines instead of breaks so after this let's just go ahead and actually this next thing I'm gonna type and if I try to explain it while I'm typing then it's gonna be kinda of confusing so uh, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, hold on I can't even figure out how to pause this freaking thing alright so clearly as you guys can see what we did is after we said to activate your account your clown no activate your account please click on this link we add a couple breaks and then we gave them a link now the link that they need to click on is a link to this activate.php page now of course we didn't make this script yet but we will eventually and what this page is gonna do is it's gonna grab the email from the URL which is the email that they registered from and that code that unique random code and it's gonna match up that code in that email and it's gonna say okay where in this temporary users table is this code equal to the code and email equal to the email and then it's gonna say okay if I have a result which I should I'm gonna take this information and plop it over into the users table so that's why we needed the code and their email and that's basically what this activation script is gonna do a really easy and awesome way to deter against all your spam and bots and just fake stupid users so now check this out we didn't actually mail the user anything yet we constructed an email or the body of it at least now we actually need to mail it through PHP so how do you mail people stuff through PHP well you use the function mail and it takes three parameters the first parameter is their email so of course their email that they entered in the form will just go ahead and steal that the second parameter is what do you want the title of your email to be registration confirmation did I spell that wrong hopefully and the last thing is who do you want to email it to 
what do you want the title of the email to be and the body of your email or the meat of your email is just the message so there you go now the last line of code we need in this register.php is this we want to redirect them after we sent the email to a prompt and what this is going to do is take note that this is a uh, prompt one and this is prompt two this is just a page that says congratulations we've sent you an email to uh, like finalize your registration or whatever please click on the link that we sent you before you can use the website so after it gets done doing everything they're redirected to another page and then they have to go look at their email click it and they're good to go ready to use the site so how awesome is that that is all of the code we are 100 percent done with register.php I actually have to you know debug this real quick and see if I have any errors and if I do then I'll show you guys uh, what the errors are and how to correct them in the next video if I you know type the extra semicolon or something but uh, if not then the next thing we have to do is make that activation script so thank you guys for watching I'm gonna subscribe and hopefully my mic wasn't muted and I'll see you in the next video